WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to your 1 p.m. update. Uh, as 1 o'clock, uh, we've got uh, all markets in the green. The Dow's up 28 points. That's about one-tenth of a percent, so really no big deal, just a sideways move. S&P up four-tenths of a percent, or 12 points. The big mover out here is really the transports are up one-and-a-half percent. The socks, the semiconductors are up one-and-three-tenths percent, and then the Russell 2000 up one-and-two-tenths percent. Spot volatility index, she's trading out at uh, 1599. That's still above its 50-day exponential moving average that says um, things are uncertain to say the least gold's trading back five bucks out at 1410 support is held there thus far uh, you've got silver trading out at 1528 lightspeed crude is trading at 5950 so look folks what it really always all boils down to especially when you have these retracements are they just retracements pulling back to support and then you've got to ask yourself the question well where is support steve-o well that's pretty easy. Subscribers see this page each afternoon, the majority of each afternoon, so they know exactly where that is. And with regard to support, you're taking a look at a little graphic out here. You'll see column number four from the left says daily OUL support. You then can go two more columns to the right and you get your weekly. So depending on whether you're an intermediate term time frame trader as it relates to your retirement funds or you're more of a day-ish type trader, here's what we know right now. We know what the S&P is shows you the equity futures contract gold silver uh, although i've got to change uh, silver out there let me do that while we're on the fly let's change that to uh to the september contract and it'll post up here exactly where support is that's at 1521 right now gold is 1393 out there um that's the support level and so that would say if price is trading below that well you've broken support and you have a change in change in trend here it is, folks, if you're watching. you got 2917 in the S&P, 26439 in the Dow, 7606 in the NASDAQ, Russell 2015-27. You've got the semis, it's 1397. You can just go on the list. What this is telling us is that price for all the indices is above support and therefore remains in bullish configuration. Stay tuned for the next hour. For the next three hours, get me, Steve Rhodes. Then you've got uh, David White, your favorite polar bear, and Tom O'Brien to take it on home. Have a terrific Thursday, and we'll see you soon.